What's up, Bee Nation? Today we are devoting an entire video to sourdough. So the idea of today's video is that we're here in San Francisco and we just had to try San Francisco sourdough. So what we've done here is we've gone around the city and we've picked up four beautiful loaves from four of the most famous bakeries in the city. We're gonna be taste testing each one and kind of rating them. I mean, like, we are not bread professionals. We are going to rate how much we like the crust, the inside, how much sourness is in the dough, and like, kind of like an overall rating. So take it from your non-bread professionals here, you guys. We're determining here today which sourdough loaf is the best. No bread tour can really come complete without a cheese board, some butter, some fruit, and even some wine from Trader Joe's, two buck chuck, red blend. For so many weeks now I've been like, Zach, I can't wait for our San Francisco sourdough day. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to go to all the bakeries. I can't wait to drive around San Francisco. And most importantly, I can't wait just to drink wine and eat cheese in the park while eating delicious bread. So our first loaf is from Tartine. So the first stop today is Tartine Bakery, which has made an enormous impact on San Francisco's sourdough scene. It is nearly 20 years old now. They have multiple locations around San Francisco. We're here at like their factory, which is in the Mission District of San Francisco. So they started in 2002 and they make like beautiful sourdough bread. So many people have given them praise on their bread and... Oh my God. This is the biggest loaf of bread I think I have personally ever purchased in my life. We got the last one too. We like walked in and I was like, you know, like deer in a like headlights kind of situation. Like we're here for sourdough. And they were like, oh, I recommend the oat porridge. And I was like, perfect. So we got an oat porridge loaf and it was the last one. And I think it was like 11.25 per loaf, but with tax it turned out to be like 13 something. This is going to be the most amazing loaf. So my first reaction here is that like, this loaf is very soft. You know, it's got like a really crusty exterior, but when you squeeze it just gently, it is like a pillow. First reaction, whoa, smells amazing. Side note, we didn't get like their classic sourdough loaf. It was like the most basic one they had at the time. So we didn't get there until like 11 a.m. It smells miraculous. It doesn't smell as sour as I was expecting it to, but this crust is serious. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This might be the most delicious sourdough I've ever eaten. The crust is super dark, but it's giving it a very like toasted flavor. You know, like nuances of the oven. And then the inside is so soft. It's soft and it's kind of even moist. It doesn't smell very sour, but when you put it in your mouth, it's like kind of like not overwhelming. Man, it tastes delicious. All right, we got our Bowden. Bowden? Bowden? We got our Bowden. <laughs> we have our Bowden loaf. It is one of the most spectacular sourdough establishments I think I've ever been in. Like, it is really an experience. We always stop at their location down here by Pier 39, and they have this like warehouse of bread going on. Boudin has been baking bread since 1849. At least that's what they say on their label. They started making bread when like the California gold rush happened. The thing about sourdough, and when it comes to San Francisco, is that there's nothing really that special about San Francisco sour bread when it comes to like how it's made. What it comes down to is like the bacteria in the air and in the local grains that make San Francisco sourdough taste the way it does. They even have its own like name and it's called like something something San Francisco something something. <laughs> bacteria here in San Francisco make the bread actually taste quite sour. So that's why San Francisco sourdough is like such a staple because it actually tastes sour. Like it is sour dough. These bakers that make sourdough here in San Francisco, if they tried doing this anywhere else in the country, it wouldn't taste the same because it's just like such a regional type of thing that makes this sourdough so good. Now as far as packaging goes, they have the best bag. And I know that 
doesn't matter. But for some like reason, like during the purchasing aspect, I was like, yeah, I got my love. So you can definitely tell there are not a lot of air holes. And again, as a self-proclaimed bread connoisseur, um, I'm pretty sure that the holes matter. crust it's kind of hard to chew so this might be the most sour loaf the crust is very thick but again kind of hard to like tear oh hi it's all good it's all good no <laughs> that is the third dog that has tried to attack this set you almost got the cheese <laughs> A Labrador came up and actually snatched one of the donuts we have off screen that were like supposed to be dessert. Like this wasn't enough carbs for us today, but actually like grabbed a donut and then it was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. We were like, it's okay. So we are here in Noe Valley at Noe Valley Bakery in San Francisco to get their beautiful sourdough loaf. So I asked just like, what is the most classic loaf you sell? And they said, this sourdough batard. So this bakery is actually not, it wasn't trying to be like a sourdough staple in San Francisco sourdough scene. It was just trying to be like a neighborhood bakery, but they turned out some really delicious sourdough that got a lot of recognition. And so now it's like on one of the top places you need to visit in San Francisco to try some really delicious sourdough. This looks really good. Very pillowy inside, extremely thick crust. This kind of has the more like classic sourdough look. Mm. Solid crust, perfect texture. I would say like, this is more of the texture that I would assume sourdough would have. This smells slightly more sour, but it doesn't taste as sour, which I find to be very interesting. It's like you'd think it'd be the exact opposite. Considering that they're not, their specialty isn't necessarily sourdough bread, this is really delicious. I mean, I get why it's like on everybody's list because this is a solid loaf of sourdough. Like, crusty, delicious, yeasty bread with a slight sourdough aspect, and it has really good texture. So this is really good. So now we're here at Acme Bread Company. We're actually here at the ferry terminal because this bakery started over in Oakland and it became like an Oakland institution for sourdough bread. And so it's actually here in the ferry terminal that goes to Oakland across the bay. And I really appreciate that like they are devoted to bread. It's not like a bakery for like little treats, little sweets, it's just bread. And they have such a large collection of breads you can buy. It's absolutely insane. So we got our sourdough batard. I'm very excited. It smells very, I feel like I have crumbs in my face. It smells very strong. It was a really good price too, it was like $4, which I feel like is a pretty good deal. Ooh, really rough crust, very thick. Okay, initial reaction, this crust is even thicker than Noe Valley's. The bread inside smells actually a little bit more sweet. Mm. That is some serious crust. You guys, that is some serious flavor. Something that I like have a pet peeve about is when crust is like too tough but also like hard to rip. This is tough but easy to chew through and I don't know if that even makes sense. As far as crust goes, this might actually be my favorite. It is giving a lot of flavor. The inside is kind of sweeter. It has a really, really sour taste and it's easy to chew, which I think matters. But like, it's hard to compare because they're all so good, but they all have like little nuances that separate them. Like, do you like sour? Do you like kind of sweet? Do you like really tough? So now we're going to compare each one side by side. So overall flavor, 
I would say all of them were delightful. But if you're going based on sour, Boudin is your match. On a scale of like from most to least, I'd probably say Boudin, Acme, Noe Valley, and Tartine. Yeah. When you're talking about crust and preference, I would have to say that I actually really enjoyed Acme's just because it was like actually easy to chew. Is that what I said? Yeah, I feel like that. So on preference of crust, I'd go Acme, Tartine, Noe Valley, and Boudin. Hi, baby! Dog number five. Dog number five. Hi! Sorry! Okay, it's our fault for having a picnic. It really is like dog level. <laughs> When it comes to texture, I honestly, and I don't know if this is like accurate or if this is like what sourdough is supposed to taste like, I really love tartines. I thought it was super good. It's like more moist than I would have expected sourdough to be, or like any bread to be, but it's really delightful and it is so soft. So to rate each one from like best to worst, which they're all wonderful, so that worst doesn't mean anything here. Tartine, Boudin, Acme, and then Noe Valley. But overall, if I had to choose a winner, I would go with Acme. And they're like, they've been a long-standing tradition. I really just think like it's probably the best loaf. It's really good crust. It has delightful texture on the inside. They're all delightful. Every single one is good. It has really good sourdough taste. And the cost was there. You know, like the cost per loaf was pretty good. This is almost too much like sensory overload to be eating so much different types of good bread all in one sitting because they all taste amazing. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know my stuff. Bread, it's my life. But I know nothing. So if you're taking advice from us, go with Acme. The price is there, the texture's there, the sour sweetness is there. This was so much fun to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you get to San Francisco sooner rather than later to try this awesome bread. And just so you know, these are the donuts we were gonna have and I don't even know which one his little snout touched. It happened so fast, it was just like open like this. Just came in and then he ate it, the whole donut. Took one. He just didn't even one. touch the other ones. He just took one single one. It was like perfectly placed for his little mouth to get and he was gone. Like, it was so fast. He unfortunately took the most expensive donut we bought. <laughs> We are here. Oh. So we are here. Ah, there's so many cars. And it's so windy. So windy. So windy. See, we try you guys. We really do. So windy. We want to get the best shot for you so you can I hear everything she's saying. Mask. One day. One day. That's her good. Hi, honey. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's okay. <laughs> no, 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 Sissy, you're really sad about your donut. <laughs> <laughs> Four dollar donut. <laughs>